Malo was started uh, back in 2008. Um, we started as a, a small fishing company, pretty much with the uh, focus on fly fishing. And uh, it, was, it was the only thing I do at the time. Um, I would uh, build rods, put them together, and uh, you know, sell them to soldiers, single soldiers are sta stationing in, in the uh, barracks. Uh, pretty much the order got quite a bit and uh, you know it was beyond what I could build so uh, I, I pretty much uh, had to go through companies to help build a rod and uh, as business grew um, the interest of hunting uh, was was uh, in the process. Um, I took a hunting course in Bamberg and uh, Doc was one of the uh, the hunting instructor there um, which was in what 2000 2011 or, 11. Yeah, 2011 um, Doc gave a pretty good course and uh, you know I had the fishing uh, business and uh, in 2000, uh, 2012 um, I started a model with the uh, with the hunting business and I brought in Doc as the uh, the uh, CEO for the company which I, I needed a lot of help and I knew the uh, knowledge and and the number of people Doc knew and was uh, well aware in the uh, hunting community, uh, I, too kind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't go wrong with him. He was uh, he was perfect uh, for the uh, company. It was a uh, it was just a, a, a marriage for the company with Doc and uh, and Amala, and uh, you know uh, we're all we're happy, all happy. You know we went through uh, with some trials and tribulations. Yeah, uh, but we were able to find some very quality partners to mm -hmm. help us. Uh, facilitate uh, the uh, hunting adventures that we've tried to offer to our customers. Uh, July being one of the uh, mainstays of our uh, uh, industry right now and our efforts. And I'll tell you that um, it has been an extremely satisfying partnership that we've had uh, with uh, July. And uh, just it's be best indicated by just the response from the uh, customers that we brought in last year who are some, some of which are returning customers mm -hmm. for the following year and then the people that have just departed in the last uh, days or so have already booked for, 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 the, for the coming year. So, you know, we, we, this, this, this is a good thing. Me, I am personally just flabbergasted. Uh, and that, that, that's one of those words I don't use very often. Uh, the uh, July brings the full package to the table. Mm -hmm. Professional hunters, accommodations, cuisine, atmosphere, hospitality, and, 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 and the scenery. And the, the particular, the uh, game quality is superb. You know, I've hunted all over the world, in Iceland off for, for, for a moose, and uh, in, in the United States, uh, Whitetail in uh, uh, Washington State, Colorado, uh, hunted in Texas, raccoons and all kinds of stuff. You know, hunted all over Germany, and uh, at this point, uh, the highlight of my hunting, of my over 40 years of hunting experience, is it's been the, the last two years I've been hunting with uh, July. And for me, bringing that experience to my customers and bringing American clientele and let them experience the, the July experience, it, it, it would be, it's gonna be an amazing situation. <laughs>the uh, the temperature um, it's just perfect especially uh, being here hunting in Hungary this isn't my first time hunting in Hungary but it is my first time hunting fallow deer in Hungary and uh, I, I'm truly enjoying every uh, every moment and uh, you know it's, it's been one of those experiences that you you won't forget what I want to do is uh, being able to uh, introduce American hunters to uh, the uh, July experience not only the July experience, but the Hungarian experience in general, where that they can feel and feel, feel very comfortable about 
of being in an environment that is first warm and, and very relaxing and to be able to capture a memory that they can take home with them. I mean, it's just something that uh, it's a one time in a lifetime experience that you would want to repeat again and again. Our organization has a lot of uh, military affiliates uh, in our staff. Um, we try to do a lot of activities uh, for the communities, whether it's kids fishing events or, you know, bringing a, a wounded soldier out to, to an evening hunt, on sits hunt, as you would call it, putting him on an evening hunt in a, in a tree stand, um, just to get him out, um, you know, out of the military surrounding. Um, just a lot of that little stuff that you do for the community or, or a, a, a service member that has come back from deployments or, or from a war zone area, you know, it, it, it brings a lot of uh, that emotional feeling out. Yeah, you know, Al, you're 100% right. We get to use uh, hunting as a therape therapeutic yeah. uh, me method mm -hmm. so that we can help those guys heal from their traumatic shocks of war, conflict, or whatever other ailment that they have uh, experienced while in a uh, combat condition. We, Amala Hunting, want to be able to be a one of the pillows in, in, in that healing process so that uh, we can uh, bring that person back into society whole and ready to be 100% be, be functional. So, uh, be it coming to July or be it being at, in Germany uh, doing an onsets in, in our local review mm -hmm. or be it doing community services, we try to bring those people out of, out of the project into our folds, make sure that those people feel comfortable, warm, and accepted, and then restore them back into society. That's our goal. I've been hunting in a lot of places in the world and this is one of the very few places that have their management on buck to doe follow deer ratio. This is one of the very few places that have their management done right. I'm, uh, I'm very happy in this uh, hunting here with July and uh, my guide, he's put me on a lot of games, but um, we're gonna try again uh, tomorrow. Seen a lot of bucks, just not the one we want. Seen a lot of does on follow deer, just you know, that's, that's hunting. My first morning out, actually, and uh, Peter, my professional guide here, uh, took me to a nice area. I tell you what, there was a lot of deer out here. I uh, heard a lot of roaring. Uh, of course, we're in the middle of the uh, the rut, and uh, Peter was able to get us close enough to see uh, a lot of the bucks. Most of them weren't the management bucks we were looking for, so uh, we're still out trying our luck. Um, we're about to go hit a different area, and. Uh, well, we'll see where, where it takes us. We saw some pretty nice sized buck, Peter. Yes. <laughs> uh, very, very nice sized buck. Um, came out to this second location and uh, we could just hear him roaring in the wood. This is 
an exciting hunt. I would recommend this hunt to a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of hunters that's wishing to come out to Eastern Europe and hunt. Um, this is one of the better destination in Eastern Europe for fallow deer. The, the place has their deer management downright. This is one of the fewer places I know that really has their deer management downright. Um, a, a lot of uh, buck to doe ratio. And uh, if you're not interested or not wanting to take a fallow deer uh, in this region, they got other parts of uh, Hungary that uh, July, the company itself, the outfitters, uh, do provide uh, red deer and, uh, and wild boar hunting opportunity. Wahnsinn, endlich! Super. Sehr, sehr schön, Kölsch. Das war interessant, ne? Ja, sehr, sehr interessant. Prima. Did you get the shot? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful buck in the southwest Hungarian uh, countryside. Just, just a beautiful buck. Um, wonderful stock. I tell you what, it was a very interesting stock. Um, I uh, just want to do a little uh, presentation. As you uh, probably been uh, watching, I've uh, been wearing this hat, our organization hat, and every hat I take out on a hunt, whether it's sitting uh, in Hungary or Germany or, uh, or anywhere else in, uh, in Europe, I always have this uh, hat pin with me. Um, for the guy that really, really did the job there. Like Gagger, he, uh, he really put us on game, and uh, I'm, I'm fully happy. And, uh, want to represent this uh, this Amala hunting hat pin for oh. his uh, for his hat as a collection so when I come down here next time and he's not wearing that he owes me a beer <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> feeling feeling down my friend feeling feeling down This is uh, one of the uh, most relaxing, stress-free, well-organized hunt that uh, you're likely uh, experience uh, if you hunt quite a, quite a bit abroad. Um, for me, I've been hunting 
uh, pretty much uh, over Western Europe and uh, Eastern Europe as well as uh, in Estonia was dark here. And uh, honestly, quite honestly, Doc, I say this is one of the well, better organized, uh, professional guide, uh, guided hunts that, uh, that I've been on. Yeah. And, and, and that's just not me saying that as, as a promotional or marketing piece. That's, that's kind of coming out of me as an as a, as a honest, you know, spoken um, words of this facility and this organization here with July. I believe 100% that uh, United States hunters and then some European hunters need to experience first thing the full package that July offers. Through a mile of hunting, we can make it happen for you. July brings the full package to the table. Accommodations, cuisine, professional hunting staff, exceptional game selection, and a very warm, hospitable environment. And uh, you have to be able to be here to experience it. And I guarantee you'll want to come back again. So give us a call. I'm all hunting to make it happen for you.